your tribe and your traditions and everything is still customary, it's still respected like that. I don't have that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm for all my speakers like that, yeah, I'm an African American, black American, whatever you want to call me, okay, like that. Uh, I'm indigenous to this country, but my brother here is indigenous, period. And it, it is a whole different area we're going to talk about in a little while because you know um we off off record we're gonna talk we're gonna talk talk but bro i'm so jealous of not having a, a a language you feel me you have your own languages or languages yeah. versus and and you know and people always like you know why do you want to um because you know, i'm retiring to south america they said well why do you want to learn to love a language and go over like that outside you know your people and no disrespect to anybody, because, you know, I'm a, I, I am a born American, I'm raised American, and uh, America has done so much for me, all right? It really has, okay? Uh, I'm able to retire. I have one working on my second retirement. I'm good. The thing is, of a culture, you need to know who your people are, know your languages, know your tradition, know your heritage like that. For most African Americans, we don't. Um, you go 400 years, yeah. four or 500 years, and it's a stop. With you, you can go millennia. You feel me? And 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 and, and it's right there with yeah. you, and you practice with your people. Yeah, I mean, I mean, when, when, okay, I remember I went to New Mexico. I went to the Pueblo, and I went on in there. It's a if it's, it's a different pe- man. It was deep. I was like this. Wow. I was like I was honored to just go on the land. You feel me? And then uh, I'm kicking it like this. I'm eating, and the food a little different. Yeah. I was like, the fuck am I eating? Okay, but. But I was like, no, hey, hey, bro, bro, stop playing. I was like, the fuck am I eating? But it was a different in the tribal. And no matter, first of all, y'all tribal. That means something. That means something. And then um, um, outside of of the res, it's whatever. Y'all sovereign. Y'all have your own bylaws and all like that. I'm t- I'm telling like this. When when whenever you invite me like that, it's an honor to be around you. And me and you boys, but it's an honor to be around yeah. your tribe and your nation because I'm like this. I don't have that. You know what I'm saying? And, and no, no different. The slavery thing, yeah. and that's that's a different thing. Slavery thing like this. I was. I don't know Africa. I don't. I know I have ancestors there, but all I know is America. You have the tribal. You have lineage before it was a nation. You have all these artifacts, like you say, the before it was. The, I'm like, bro, y'all are so the the bomb. I'm like this. I'm like, what? Okay, okay, okay. I gotta get you another question. I gotta get another question. Um, your best food to cook or eat? Food to cook or eat? My best food to cook and eat. I, it, it's got to be traditional. It's got to be, um, you know, mutton stew. You know, you got you got the mutton meat. You got the lamb. Butchering the lamb or butchering the, the sheep, and then making some uh, some good some good mutton meat, you know, with fire bread. Oof. Oh yeah. For y'all who can't see, he said, "Oh yeah." His ass turned his head. Said, "Oh yeah, oh yeah." <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. Oh right. boy. Yeah. Ne- ne- next question. Next question. So the, the name of the podcast: Don't fuck up the crime scene. Have you ever not on purpose? Fuck up a crime scene or messed up a crime scene where you was out there, you know, investigating. Oh yeah. yeah I was, <laughs> actually, I was, matter of fact, I was I was helping um, the Navajo police, and uh, we we had a scene where you know, well, it's, it's not my fault. I want to say um, it wasn't taped off. I go chafing through the crime scene. Hey guys, how's everything going? You know, where can where can I help? Well, first you can back up. Because <laughs> you you're in the crime. Well, where's the tape? Damn! Felt like a rookie. Felt like a rookie. I'm like, God damn! Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. And, and, well, first of all, like, first, first, it's supposed to be somebody posted to tell you, hold up, okay? So I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to leave. It's supposed to be an officer on scene to check you and get your credentials when you come up. Period. So I'm not going to leave that on you, okay? Um, and for, for y'all, one on one, don't fuck up the crime scene. One on one, uh, crime scene investigations, or when you have to check in, uh, cross contamination, all that stuff like that. You need to check in before you go to crime scene. There should be an officer posted to stop you before you go in the crime scene. So I'm not gonna give that one to you. I mean, you know, real talk, real talk, real talk. You know what I'm saying? All right. Yeah. So I'm, 
Yeah. So, so I walked in. I'm just like, ah, because, you know, like, like you said, there was no one there. Everybody's concentrating on one area. So I'm walking in where I trade through, you know, that's, you know, you can see the scuffle, the struggle and, you know, drag marks and such. And I'm like, God, and you see a little evidence here and there. And I thought it was already collected, but, you know, hey, lesson learned, lesson learned. And, 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 and I'm, I'm Trey, I'm glad, I'm glad you're being honest and open. I have stopped. So many people come on a crime scene that's, you know, uh, pay grade way above me, right? And they be like, you know, and they be in their feelings for a second. I say, hey, no problem. You need to sign in. And I, 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 Chief, hold on. I never fuck with a chief. Never assistant chief. Majors and captains, all day. I'm like this. I say, hey, hey you want to come in? No problem. I need you to sign in. They're like, because when you sign in, you got to be part of the case. They're like, I'm good. I'm like, All right, I know I know your ass is good, okay? Get your ass back out there. But I can't say that. You know what I'm saying? All right, next question for you. Uh, yeah. fa- favorite place to visit or vacation? Favorite place to visit or vacation? Wow. Um, we just went on a, a little mini, mini vacation just a while ago. I'm probably, probably our first vacation in 21 years and the years I've been working a lot. God damn, bro. We went up and check out the Dakotas. We went out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's all I do work. Uh, we- uh, uh, I'm, I'm, uh- <laughs> so, are you with the North and South Dakota? Did you see um, um, Big Chief? Well, just, you- just, just south, just so- south. We went to go check out. Um, I went to go see Mount Rushmore and check out some of the reservations up there, and just you know drive through. And it, it was it was interesting. It was a lot. It was a lot of fun. Got to meet some officers up there. Um, uh, yeah, did you did you trade right. any patches, any coins, anything like that? Yeah, yes, I did. Yes, okay, I did. Okay. And, so and- I, I got some of that now, but. But in reality, for me, my favorite sanctuary, my favorite place to be, would be where I grew up. Just just being out there at home, um, quiet, no no cell service. Just just being out there and just being you know being one with nature. Oh, oh, time, that's, time, that's, time, 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 time. My favorite place. No cell service. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's, okay. the, there's still some there. There's still some areas on the Navajo Nation where. Um, cell service is limited. You can probably just get one bar, but most of the time you have service. But where I grew up, um, there there's really no service at all, and you're secluded. You're just off the grid. Okay, uh, we, okay. For all my listeners, we want to swipe left. His ass crazy. Uh, I, I have to live with my cell phone. Fuck you. Um, um, that living off, off the land. Like that, fuck out of here. Okay. I need my Amazon. Um. Tra- <laughs> It's certain things I need. I love you, brother, but it's certain things I need. Next, next question: Are you a good? Are you a great teammate? Yes, I am. I put my, I put, I put my, I put my coworkers before myself. I'm always looking out for them. I'm making sure they're eight. You know, they've eaten. I'm, I've always make sure that they get it home safely. I always make sure that you know, just just like a dad, I'm always there looking out for them, making sure they're comfortable, making sure they're they have the equipment, and you know. If the brass comes down, you know, like they say, shit rolls downhill, and you know, I'll be the, I'll be fighting for my for my guys, even if it means losing my job. I mean, I put my guys first before me. You know, I I, 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 I commend you on that, and I, I reach out for you on that. Um, the, now, don't get me wrong; I'm not the best like person ever. Um, but the even people who didn't like me, even people who I fired, they will say I was fair. I am a fair person. And everybody knows I will go out there on a limb for them, as long as you don't lie to me and fuck me. Uh, I will go out there and do my whatever. And everybody knows I carry, well, past tense, I carry two uniforms just in case I have to go out there and play. Okay? I have to get out there. Because, I, 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 you know, because you know, I, I was kind of up there. Um, I have to make sure I look good later on. But other than that, I'll be out there um, with you 24-7. Last question, and then we get into me and you. Um, are you a dog or cat person and why? So I'm a dog person because we used to have cats. We have one cat that just, just lost it. The cat lost it. Um, it, it bit my, it bit my arm, my hand. And I don't know why. I don't know why. I'm like, dude, I'm like, dude you know, I took, I'm taking care of you. You know, you, you're, you're fed. You have your own place. You own your own space. Dogs are outside, but. You know, ever since then, I said no more. So now I'm a dog person. Always been a dog person now. Just because, you know, man's best friend. And like they say, you know, just being around a dog can reduce your stress level by, by you know, by something. And it's, it, I don't know, I just, I just prefer dogs. 
<laughs> All right, so 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 now we, we easy, the, yeah, that was the easy eight. Uh, again, this is my man Trey, episode fifty four. Don't fuck up the crime scene. Um, again, uh, have him out there, Navajo Nation. Let's talk some Navajo. What is the what 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 is different um, from the common stuff that we do and the stuff that you do on the reservation? What is the what what separates what what separates ACO work outside and ACO work inside. Every every everybody everybody's related. Um, with our with our culture, everybody's related one way or another. Our clan system is what connects us and makes us unique. Um, like I could go from here to New Mexico and I could come across someone with the same clan as I do, and they could be, and I'm a boy of mine here, and you're gonna be like, what the hell? They could be my dad, they could be my uncle, they could be my mom, they could be my aunt, my sister, or my brother. And that connects all of us. And when we arrive on scene at a certain a crime scene, um, you know the person, you know the individual. And a lot of times when you go into someone's house, you introduce yourself. You know, this is, you know, I'm, I'm a, this is Navajo here. I'm going to introduce myself to you guys in Navajo. Yate, Che, Travis Fuller, and She. Basically, you know, my name is Travis. Um, I'm Mexican, born for Reed Clan. Uh, Bitterwater people are my Nellies, my uh, my paternal, my dad's side, and my maternal, my mom's side. Uh, my grandpa's is uh, of the uh, Angle people clan. Mm-hmm. So, and when you're when you go out there, mind you. We have three states that we cover, and the reservation is the size of West Virginia. And our backup is, oof, our backup is uh, sometimes an hour away to your five, ten minutes. So don't complain when you say, hey, my backup wasn't here. I don't have backup when I go out there. My backup could be the family member that I just met, or the person I just met. And they might be, they could be my dad, they could be my uncle, like I said. And at the same time, we're dealing with their family member, their actual blood. But yet, something happens to me, they're going to step in and take care of me because we're related. And that's how we're taught. You look out for each other. You know, I saw that. And that's I, the difference. I, I saw that in um, The Rock. with Because, you know, he's like Simone, Simoleon and something like that. I forgot what The Rock is. But when he did the um, Shaw, Shaw versus whatever, and um, he was on, it, it was some movie stuff like that. And, um, you know, uh, he was like, hey, my people, my people, and they they ride, they ride for you, they ride for you, and um, you know, I was like this, and and again, I will always say I'm jealous because I don't know that, I don't know that ride for you, um, you know, the black experience yeah. in America, it's it's rough, it's rough, it's yeah. it's no rougher than what you had to go through and your 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 um your your people had to go through uh in America. Um, and we, we, this is real shit. I, I, I take my hat off to you because it's, it's different. And then it's cultural, it's tribal. Um, and then your language. So how many languages do you speak? That's just one language. Just, that's just a Navajo language. So okay. just, just Navajo. That's all I spoke. I and, didn't add and, any, uh, Mexican. I didn't add any. No Spanish? No Spanish. What? Man, <laughs> I speak more Spanish than your ass. Boy, anyway, anyway, boy, boy, stop. Boy, stop. Boy, stop. You know, the, the, <laughs> Trey, my thing like this, like having you on the show, and we got to catch up. And um, the next time I'm out, I'm going to come. I'm going to come. I'm going to come. And um, we're going to hang out, stuff like that. And um, are you close to the Pima or are you close to the Phoenix? I'm about four hours from Phoenix. Okay. So okay. What, what's the what's the, so Phoenix, what, what's, the close, what's the closest city, main time city that you're close to? Flagstaff. About an hour from where I'm at. I'm okay. okay. City, so... I'm about an hour north of Flagstaff. God damn. I'm about an hour north of Flagstaff, and I'm about 25 minutes from Grand Canyon. Oh, damn. Oh, oh, uh, su- southern Rim? The Southern Rim? East. The east side of the Rim. Okay, I got you. I got you. I went to the south, and I went to the north. I haven't went to that little way, walk over, or whatever like that. I haven't been over there. Um, oh, that, oh, that's way by Vegas. That's on the side of Vegas. Right. So, so, so. He's a, yeah. yeah, Skywalk. And I, I, I'm, and don't get me wrong. I don't mind doing it, but I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, going to Grand Canyon. For you guys don't understand when you know you have these 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 people say the Grand Canyon. Oh, that's a big hole. They never seen the Grand Canyon. They never seen the Grand Canyon. 
And then um, the southern rim was it, was, it was the elevation from the northern and the south is totally different. 